are we going to do this again this is my question are we going to have one of these again we had this at the end of 2023 into 2024 and at the time we were just innocently voting but we quickly realized that these were actually planned for updates like war machine tier 4 sentry we're still waiting on null fingers crossed etc so i have with me a screen rent article talking about all of the content that we know for sure is coming out in 2025 for well not for sure but most likely coming out in 2025 for marvel and so i wanted to go ahead and rank what i believe are going to be at least some of the uniforms we're probably not going to get all of them I, I won't be able to to guess every single one of them but i want to do my best to try and guess as many as possible um for this list because <laughs> they're definitely gonna do this again you know what i mean they're definitely going to like pretend okay so starting off with uh, the, the most obvious one, which is Captain Falcon. We're probably going to get a tier four for Sam at some point. So I'll put him here for now. I know this is a little like, you know, it looks ghetto. I know. I know. OK, um, and we're probably going to get something for Red Hulk as well. Now, the question may end up being right. Are they going to make it this obvious? Right. Are they going to just put in all of these characters that we know are getting movies because if you look here there really isn't anything from the movies granted the only movie that we knew was coming out this year for marvel was deadpool wolverine so they were wise enough not to put deadpool or wolverine on this list so i'm a little bit i'm skeptical like i don't i don't actually think that they're going to do what i'm doing right now with specifically for falcon and, and, and hulk i don't think they're going to do this but at the same time I can't guess what they're going to do. I don't actually know, guys. I don't actually work for Marvel Future Fight. Um, so I'm, I'm not really sure. But there's also Thunderbolts. This is the annoying thing. There's also th Thunderbolts. Um, and they got to give Taskmaster a tier 4. So I'm guessing maybe Taskmaster shows up on this list. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe he does. I don't know. There's just not a lot. There's also the Fantastic Four movie. But here's the thing. Last year, right last year there was only one movie so they didn't really they didn't really have uh a lot of the, the most of the updates had to not be movie related right because they didn't really have a lot of choice but this year there's three plus movies planned for the mcu so how are they going to do one of these and not have at least one of the movies quote unquote hinted at um you know uh, in the in the top 15 because otherwise you're just kind of stumbling in the dark right now, we were supposed to get Blade this year. Pfft, that's not happening. It's probably never happening. We were supposed to get Beyond the Spider-Verse. That's probably not happening. We are getting the Spider-Man TV show. Now, I think this one I would have guessed anyways. I actually genuinely think Spider-Man will be getting something in 2025 just because it's been so long. It's been so long for the webbed menace, and he kind of just needs, uh, you know a fresh coat of paint so to speak so i can't rotate this unfortunately but yeah he would be my number three i genuinely think like regardless of this video regardless of the aim or the goal or or sort of like the you know the path i'm taking to get here i genuinely think spider-man is going to be getting something this year i also genuinely think that this character kingpin is going to be getting something this year as well uh, we know he's going to be in daredevil born again if you've seen any of the clips from that show already being circulated around um, for sure. Uh, but I think a lot of people were expecting Kingpin to get something last year, um, but he didn't for Echo. I don't think they I don't think they're going to let him pass again without getting uh, another, you know, another another go. Right. Um, I also think Ironheart again, a lot of this stuff. Most of this stuff is um, TV show and movie related. I get that, but it's a completely different year for Marvel. Right. They have a bunch of properties. Uh, coming out uh, this year that they didn't have last like next year that they didn't have this year right uh, and they need more support tier fours so I think Ironheart's kind of like a no-brainer I think they have to do something like that eyes of Wakanda TV show they could certainly do something for that but they could do like Okoye tier four for example but I think what's more likely and I don't want to again harp too much on the um, the movies and things like that but I think the zombies are um, a big, a big chance to get uh, a second update. Not that 
we're going to see another Doctor Strange uniform. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there is a Marvel, a dedicated Marvel Zombies animated TV show releasing next October. And a lot of people are pointing out, sort of rightfully, that they went pretty hard this year into the ability tag for Zombies, right? So... <laughs> I don't think they would do that if they are not planning to come back to this at some point, right? Like, we had zero characters that were zombies, and now we have six. Six is a lot, guys. Six is a lot. There are, like, look at this. If you go, <laughs> like, six is a lot. Like, look, Annihilator's got, their, got a whole update. They got a whole update, and they only have six. So if you think it's not possible that they get... Um, Look at Infinity Warps, bro. It's only down to three now. They took away. They took away Weapon Hex's Infinity Warps tag because she's a zombie now. So they can absolutely do something for zombies again. I think it's absolutely a, a high probability even. Um, now, that's not. I'm not saying that to try to FOMO you into buying uh, the uniform or anything like that. But I'm just saying that, uh, you know, it seems very likely. Now, the rest of the list is questionable because we don't know and it's not tv show or movie based so at this point besides basically spider-man you're looking at existing characters who could be getting something based on you know the cycles of the game based on other properties and i think an easy one or not an, necessarily an easy one but i think a, a valid one is cyclops i think he either gets a seasonal uniform because they love turning free-to-play mutants into paywall mutants. You know they love to do that. Or he gets a uniform for X-Men 97. I think that one is basically a shoe in at this point. Um, I, I would be shocked. I would be shocked if he doesn't. I also think that they're probably going to give Jubilee something. They seem to want to play into the mutants. We still don't have, by the way, from this list, we still don't have anything for Medusa uh crescent or emma frost so another thing that i wanted to point out is the possibility that some of these characters get rolled over to next year if they're not actually going to release these characters like i'm not even gonna talk about agent venom and null those are in the bag all right we're not even gonna talk about that but these three might get rolled over into next year and they might do just like a top 10 right they might just do a top 10 they might not do a top 15 maybe they realize it's too many Maybe they realize it's too obvious and the players like catch on to it too quickly. <laughs> like we caught on within like a couple months. We were just like, uh, mm, yeah, no, uh, this is definitely being uh, planned for us. I also think it's very possible that we see them go back and rework more of the native tier two characters like Molecule Man, like Dormammu, uh, like they did this year for other characters uh, in the native tier two space. So I could certainly see, you know, some of the more the Epic Quest characters, Deluxe Pack characters. Um, I think they're finally going to do something for Richard Rider because I believe he's the last one, the last Deluxe Pack Epic Quest character that has not gotten anything uh, besides Hope, who was just released very recently. Um, but yeah, besides him, and obviously they're, they're covered up here. Uh, I don't really know, you know, who they could do. I don't know who their number one is going to be. Uh, it's interesting, like the, the probably the most interesting question from this entire experiment is who is going to be their sentry, right? If they're going to do something like this, if they're thinking, and in particular, if you think about it this way, they actually framed it very well. One huge hero, one huge villain, null and sentry, kind of like yin and yang, yin and yang and this kind of stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know who they're going to do this year. Um, I also think they're going to see the love for this guy right here. Uh, and they're probably going to drop something for Gambit at some point. So I would not be surprised if, like, I, I do I do expect or I'm I'm highly, um, you know, in favor of it and sort of rooting for an X-Men 97 um, update. I think that uh, is absolutely possible. I don't know why I got rid of that one. Um, but, yeah, as far as a big time hero, I'm not really sure. Nothing is really jumping out at me as a possibility. Not a lot of existing characters. Uh, that haven't already gotten something um, are, you know, in the works here. I think they could certainly do something like they could release like a Bastion. They could do Nimrod. Um, I don't think this is going to be necessarily like a big time character. I think it's just going to be part of an update, uh, probably, you know, X-Men 97 related update. 
But uh, as for the big, the big, uh, the big hero in the middle, I have a few ideas. My first one, and probably the one that makes the most sense, is another Sharon Rogers. Um, because we know they love the OCs, uh, and they try to release at least one a year. We only got, uh, Sharon and Luna. I mean, that was last year. So we haven't gotten anything this year for the original characters. Nothing for Crescent, etc. Nothing for Warriors of the Sky. So they, they're kind of like a year plus behind on these characters. But I think they start with, uh, you know, Sharon first because she's an existing tier four. Or maybe they do something like Blue Dragon. Besides Sharon, um, I think you probably start looking at other existing tier fours that didn't get really the the vibe that they were, you know, they don't have like the really the pedigree that they were hoping that them to have. Somebody like maybe Professor X, if they're going to go harder into a, um, a mutant update and, and uh, you know, X-Men 97 type update, um, or maybe even somebody like Storm or maybe like Captain Marvel. I don't know. I don't think Star Lord's going to get anything again for a while, and uh, most of the rest of them are good. I guess they could do somebody like Moon Knight because he's quite popular, um, but otherwise, it's a bit of a toss up. And I'm honestly still, aside from the ones I just suggested, I'm still kind of, um, you know, stumbling in the dark. But yeah, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know who you think they they would put here potentially for 2025. And do you think? that we're going to get to vote or do you think this was a one-off thing and they are tired of us laughing at them for uh the randomness of the of the list and they're just not going to do it uh, they're going to forego it for next year anyways hit me up in the i would by the way i would love to do a voting again even if it's like i would love to do this again i think this is really funny it's sort of like it's, it's sort of like advanced sneak peeks in a way you don't know when it's coming you just sort of have a rough road map i think that's cute but maybe i'm in the minority here Maybe some people want to be surprised. Anyways, hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoy the content. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.